I know it's not for everybody, and I want to be careful about how I put this, but I'm going to say it and receive it as you receive it, and if it doesn't vibe with you, go on to the next thing. Anything that we prop up to understand God can become a barrier to coming to him because the truth of the matter is his ways are higher than our ways. And I came to understand that even Christianity, as we understand it, as we call it, as we interpret it, can be a barrier to understanding who Christ is. That was a big, that was a, a big understanding for me because I thank God for my teachers in life. And of course, I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for that. But as I've gotten more exposure and I've seen the world and I've seen different experiences, I've come to recognize that God is a lot bigger than what we perceived him to be. So a couple things on this, a couple things I just wanna share. The first thing is, I'm always concerned about people who know exactly everything that God is doing. I'm really concerned about those type of people. You know, because even the scripture says we know in part and we prophesy in part. We thank God. Yes, there are people who have the gift of prophecy, but we prophesy in part. So people say, oh, I'm absolutely sure. And they take that certainty or what they think is certainty and they actually start beating down other people because you didn't see it the way I see it. And this is what God said to me. That's what you think God said. You trust. I had a mentor that said, I trust I heard God say. I trust. Because I'm not absolutely sure. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you in the scriptures. John the Baptist was baptizing Jesus. We're told that the voice from the Father above comes cracking out of the heavens. This is my son in whom I well please. The spirit descends on him like a dove. Something like this has never happened before. And after this cataclysmic experience, a few months later, John has sent an emissary or messenger over to Jesus and basically has inquired, is it you or is it somebody else we're waiting for? That goes to show after all of that, John was still not completely certain, is this what I thought it was? So when I meet people who, you know, this is exactly what it is, and I'm thinking, that's a, that's a barrier because you're leaning on your own understanding. Because still, you have to come to an understanding of what you think God said. And it freed me when I came to understand, he ain't in that box I put him in. No matter how big the box might be, he's bigger than that. He's bigger than my denomination. He's bigger than the way that I understand. He's bigger than Christianity. He's much bigger than that. And I'm going to prove that to you too. The scripture says at the end of Genesis, chapter number four, Adam knew his wife again. And she conceived the son and named him Seth. And, 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 and Eve said, called his name Seth because God has given me a son in the stead of Abel whom Cain slew. And it goes further to say, and to Enos, excuse me, and to Seth was given a son, Enos. And then men began to call on the name of the Lord. Men were calling on the name of the Lord long before we ever had a word for Christianity, long before the temple came into place, long before there was even a word called Hebrew, long before the temple washings, long before they were saying the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob weren't there. Men were calling on the Lord since the beginning of time from the very first generation. So do you honestly think, because I've had the opportunity, I'm talking me, Daryl Bennett now, to travel and see the world. I've seen the way that people worship in China. I've seen the way that they worship in Korea. They have, I've, seen, I've seen with my own eyes places all over the world and it began to make me question, wait a minute, I always thought they couldn't be serving our God, but I'm looking at this, and though it doesn't look like what I thought it should look like, my spirit is telling me something different. And I just wanna, I wanted to get on here because I wanna free you for someone who's listening to me from the prism of thinking you have to know everything about God, because you won't. He is, as Martin Luther said, not, not, the, not, not the king, but the German, wholly unknowable. I would encourage you, for those of you that really like to study and read, read about Martin Luther and read uh, 
Dietrich Bonhoeffer's book. Uh, and it talks about how God, they use the word called holy, un holy other, H-O-L-L-Y, which means he's totally in another realm. Yes, he, he presents and manifests himself here, but he's so big. You, you couldn't conceive it if you wanted to. And this is where I want to close. This is where I want to close. I think in the last days, God is calling us out of our limited, myopic understandings of who he is. That's why he shut down the church as we know it. And I know there's a lot of pastors that I've heard them say, you need to come back to church. Why? 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 Why don't we bring the church to them? Because I thought that's what Jesus said in the beginning. Go ye out into all the